Oh, what's happening, YouTube? Solid Nate here, and you're watching T Belly. What's up, YouTube? It's me. All right. Good job. Here. What's up guys? You know who it is, so I'm basically going to jailbreak my NES Classic all over again and remodify it to have like a bunch of games instead of less than 90. So the first thing you're gonna need is a computer to do this, obviously. Then you're gonna need an NES Classic, which I got one right here. Boom. And you're going to need the wiring, not the plug, not the plug, but not the HDMI, but the plug that you use to power it on without the AC adapter. So it has a USB cord at the end. So let's get this started. First thing you want to do is get hat cheese. So let's make that happen right now. Okay, guys. So I had to take a while to download all my ROMs because I had a lot of ROMs. So first thing you want to do is get the latest hack cheese. I got version 2.31. It might not be the latest, but it's the one from the official site. So I'd rather go with that. So right here you can pick what system you're gonna do, which I'm gonna do NES Classic, USA and Europe, but you can also later do the SNES Classic, which I will do in another video. This is a favor for my friends, me and my friends, but I'm gonna put it on YouTube. So whoever wants to do it, do it. So I'm gonna go select this and it says right here, you can go later using settings menu. You can change it later using the settings menu. So hello there, what up? Just click add more games, select ROM. Okay, okay, we'll get to that in a little bit. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get this system wiped out. Now, I have this modded. I don't have the original 30 games because I took some of them out. So the first thing I want to do is put the original games on this system. So let's connect this bad boy. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So since the original games are there, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, synchronize, select the games. With the NES slash SNES Mini. You need to flash the custom kernel to your SNES Mini. This is only required once. Do you want to continue? Yes. Because I never connected it. Okay, now here's the instructions. Make sure the power button is switched off. Connect your NES Mini to the PC using the USB cable. Hold the reset button and turn on the power switch. After a few seconds, release the reset button. The power LED should not be on and install the driver if not installed yet. So we're gonna go ahead and do all of that right now. Okay guys, now that we're connected, we're gonna go follow this. So we're gonna hold reset and turn on the power switch. Okay, once you heard the sound from the PC, you can stop and it's doing the work right here. Let me put that volume all the way up so you don't miss out on the sound effects. So right now it's flashing the custom kernel. So I'll come back in a little bit when it's totally done. Let's go. Okay guys, so again, this is for people, you don't have to follow these steps, this is just for me to do. So right now I'm gonna finally sync the original games. I don't know if I installed the driver, so let's go ahead and install that, my bad boy. Okay, <laughs> okay, so we, we're gonna have to skip that. Let's turn it on. It is on. Now we will install the, okay, wait, give me a second. All right, it's just doing it. So it's done, it's done, wow, it's done, okay. So last thing we're gonna do is test out the NES Classic before we start adding games to this and all that good stuff. So let's let's take care of this. And then eventually we're gonna get to adding more games. So this is just the beginning process. Again, it's a video for me and my friends. So if you don't like it, I apologize. <laughs> but we are gonna get this rolling. Let's exit this out. And let's get this NES Classic working. Let's see if it's working properly. Okay guys, so now I have the NES Classic set up to my TV. I'm going to power it on and then switch over to HDMI 1. And it looks like it works. It has the original 30 games. The reason I know I took out Balloon Fight, I took out Final Fantasy, Galaga, 
there's a couple of games I took out. I believe that's it. Yeah, I had took those games out. So now we got the original. Let's go ahead and jailbreak this bad boy and get all these games on. Let's do it right now. Okay, guys, so we got Hack Cheat back on. So before I do anything, I want to go to my settings here. Make sure we have a couple of things. So first thing I want to do is have controller hack where you want to make sure you can use the button combination to reset, which is holding down and select. So that's there. Uh, so wait, wait, hold on one minute. Select reset button combination. Yeah, that's the one. Select. Oh, 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 oh. Down and select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure I got that correct. So, yep, we're going to use that. Okay. So that's good. And now I want to add my ROMs here. So we're going to click here. Make sure you got your ROMs. So I have on my desktop they have SNES games no we want NES games so let's just click desktop I have my NES games right here open and we're gonna click here to select all everything open now it's transferring all my games over okay some games action 52 and the game will probably not start, but it should work if emulator. Uh, do you want to add this game? I'm gonna put yes for all. We could just come back and delete the games we don't want. And it's gonna start putting all our games right here. So I'll come right back once that's done. Okay guys, so we got all our games on. So next thing we're gonna do is get the box art. But before we do that, I, there is one setting I kind of forgot to mention. And that is the pages right here the pages structure this is how it's set up so this is pretty much the reason why originally people were not able to get that many games on the NES so I don't know which setting to pick because I'm, I'm just going off I'm just going with the flow so we're gonna go with maximum gains per page folder So we're gonna go with uh, 45 games per page all right, that's what we're gonna do. So maximum games, per original games in root. No map. Oh god. Maximum games per page. We're gonna click this. I forgot to click it. I'm trying to kill, click it, but it's not letting me do nothing. Maybe because I don't have the games on yet. <laughs> that makes sense. So let's see if the artwork is on. There is no artwork on. So we got to get the artwork for every game. So there has to be a way to uh, there has to be a way to get everything at once. So so we're gonna bring this all the way down to the bottom. Everything. Okay. I just basically selected all manually. So we're gonna download box art for selected games. And there you go, it's doing it for every single game. So again, we have to sit back, relax, and wait for this to happen. So these are like the basic settings just to get these games on. So there's gonna be errors on a couple of them, but we're pretty much getting everything done. So let we'll come back when it's finished. Okay guys, so as you see, we have the box art for all the games. It did take a while, yes it did, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? that one doesn't have nothing that one does so all right let's get ready for the last step which is synchronize the select the games okay turn it on and let's rock and roll just turn on the system right there there you go so now it's building the folder structure which is what we selected before in the, in the settings. And we're gonna let this bad boy finish off what it's doing. And when it's done, we're gonna test it out. So I went through it step by step. I'm gonna, I put some uh, text in to show you guys. So that's pretty much everything. So remember, uh, first thing you wanna do, first and foremost is get your ROMs, get that set up. Once you got that set up, then you can get the hack chi. Then you can just, follow all these steps you know so the main thing you need is your roms because without your roms i mean you can't make this possible 
I do suggest getting all these damn games. And um, I can't tell you where to get them. I got it from a friend. But, you know, a friend can ask a friend and get around the community. So, uh, let's uh, just cross our fingers and hope this thing works out. So, I, I spoke for a little bit. It's still uploading the games. We're going to let this finish off. And then we're going to test it out. Okay, guys. It says we're done. And I heard the uh, the sound effect from the Nintendo. Nothing is happening. It's pretty much simple. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn this bad boy off right now. And you see the red marker showing that there's nothing connected. We're gonna exit out and we're gonna test this out right now. Let's see what happens. Oh, there it goes. There goes the sound. Good thing I waited. There goes the sound of disconnect. Now we're gonna click X and we're gonna test this out right now. Let's see if it worked. If not, we'll get right back on it. Okay guys, so here we go. I'm gonna power on the NES Classic. Let me turn off my fan and let's cross our fingers. Let's hope that everything works. So I'm gonna press power right now. I'll grab the little controller, wrong controller. That's the original NES controller. I don't see anything, but I see more games. Okay, so here you go. The, from the 10 yard fight to Ark, all the way from Win to Zoo. So let's go Win to Zoo. Wizardry, Wizards and Warriors, Wolverine. Okay, interesting world champ. I don't really know much either. There goes Wrecking Crew. King of the Ring, WWF, oh yeah, I know these games. Nice. Zexies, oh yeah, that's my game. Right there, so. Oh, Xanak, oh nice, Xanak, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So yeah, there goes Star Tropics 2, a game that's hard to get to emulate. So let's see if this works. Because this game is usually not a working title. What, it works! Star Tropics 2 works, guys. What do you know? It works. Okay. So now I'm going to hold down and select. And yeah, it reset the game for us. Nice. It worked. So let's uh, go back. And this is pretty cool. Now now we have the full NES library here. I just got to figure out how to get to the original games. Anybody know how we could get to the original games? I don't know. I don't know what to do now to get to the original games. But uh, original games right there is the first folder. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna hold down and select. I'll show you, hold down and select. And uh, let's try one more game out. Then we should be good. Oh, my kids. Gotta love some old Castlevania. Awesome, dudes. Awesome. All right, guys. So thank you all for watching the video. Thank you so much. And I'll leave you guys with an overview. Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you all enjoyed the video. I literally just went with the flow. I didn't look nothing up. I just remembered my knowledge from two, three years ago when I originally jailbroke the system. So it was pretty cool. Everything came out fine. It's working well. So hope I can help you guys. And um, thanks for watching. Cheers.